Hello again guys, I come at you today to talk about something a little bit different. I've actually made several videos about different backpacks and whatnot. This is the one that I used primarily for a couple of years. This is the Amazon Basics DSLR laptop backpack. And as you can see, it's kind of big, kind of thick, kind of heavy. And I do tend to switch between this and other backpacks whenever, it, just depending on where I'm going. And with this being the size that it is, I, I decided I wanted something thinner and lighter. So the last few trips that I've been on, I've actually been taking this backpack. This is the backpack from Acton. It came with my Blink S electric skateboard. I'll put a link to where you can find this down below if you're interested in checking it out. Really nice, really well-designed backpack. Super thin, super light, if you can see it there. But I tend to fill it up with stuff. And this backpack and most of the other ones that I've used in the past don't have a really good way of organizing things. There's a lots of little pockets here and there, but those pockets tend to just bulge out. And I wanted to try something different to, to help organize it a little bit better. And there we come to the crux of the situation. So I was watching a video from, I think it was Your Average Consumer, and he was talking about this ultra slim backpack and his tech setup for that backpack. And it had this interesting pocket situation inside of it, this way to sort of strap things into place without having dividers. And he mentioned that the strappy pockety type thing inside of it was removable. And as it turns out, this is it, kind of. They make a bunch of different sizes of these, but this is called the Grid It from Cocoon. And this is the small accessory organizer. Like I said, they make a bunch of different ones. This is one of the smaller ones you can get. I think I paid $8 for it. And I decided to give this a try, so I thought we'd go ahead and try to load this up today. And just for the sake of comparison, I also picked up a different one. This was actually on sale on Amazon the other day. It's a Bag Smart organizer. Not a huge fan of the color scheme or anything, but it does have a zipper around the outside to help keep everything held together and contained, make it very easy to move from bag to bag and just to take out whenever you get to where you're going but then when you open it up there's a bunch of different again straps for everything and zipper pockets and so I guess just to give you an idea of what I actually take with me when I go places and just holding this bag in my hand I can feel a bunch of stuff rattling around here at the bottom that's not being held in place so it's not particularly safe this bottom pocket here cables and cables and cables and some power brick power adapters a couple of pairs of wired earbuds because you just never know micro sd card adapter because again you just never know usb type c to full size usb adapter my macbook pro that i carry with me everywhere it doesn't have any USB type A ports. Then down in the main compartment, backup battery, Tron Smart with the USB type C port as well as Quick Charge 3. Got a little hard drive. It's a three terabyte Western Digital and of course a, a cable to go along with it. It's a USB 3 to USB type C cable. And of course without all that stuff in here, this backpack is nice and light and easy to carry. And this is the mess that I'm sort of left with. So I guess let's see how these two things will work with this type of stuff. If I can organize it a little bit better as it were. So this is what the Grid at Cocoon looks like. You've got all of these straps all over the place so this is kind of a large strap here slightly smaller even smaller and you can sort of make all of these work together to become just a whole set of pockets for your devices for your cables probably not in the way that I traditionally wrap them but we can make this work so for example if I wrap this cable up this way should be able to slide it in here and in there and it is protected it's safe and the funny thing is immediately after putting this first cable in here after pulling on these straps I'm realizing that I'm not going to be a huge fan of this. The straps do have a little bit of texture to them, but they're kind of hard to get a hold of, which is going to be fine, you know, if you want to pull this cable out, and it does help keep this in place a little bit better. It's just going to be kind of a pain in the butt to load up every single time you want to do that. But let me just keep going. We'll see how it works. And we're back. After a couple of minutes of just sheer frustration, I think I've actually gotten this worked out. I don't love the cocoon from Gridit, but as you can see, it is holding all of these things pretty nicely got my hard drive, power supplies, and then big battery in here. I tried doing it with the cables. I tried putting all the USB cables in here and it was just messy. No matter what I did, it was messy. And if you're going to contain a mess, in my opinion, you need to just close it all off. So that's what I ended up doing. I've got the bag smart bag here. I can open it up and it's it's a little bit of a mess in here and it's not even quite full. I've, I've actually put things in here that I normally wouldn't travel with and I still have space. This was the largest problem right here. This is the cable that actually goes along with this power brick. And so I had to double it up, put it through two sets of these little straps, but it's holding in there just fine. I've got some micro USB, USB type C lightning cables, a couple of pairs of earbuds. Again, I probably wouldn't travel with both of those all the time. And I can just, when I'm all said and done, zip this up and I'm ready to go. Take both of these things, stick it down in the bag. In and of itself, it gets kind of heavy like this, 
but most of that is battery and hard drive, and I don't necessarily travel with those all the time. And I have been going on probably for entirely too long, although I've probably cut most of this out. The point of the video is I just wanted to see if this kind of thing was possible for someone like myself, moving from backpack to backpack and keeping with me the things that I do tend to take with me whenever I travel, things like cables and chargers and batteries and whatnot. And with this relatively inexpensive setup, I think that I'm able to do that at this point. So I can just open up my backpack here, put these down there in the bottom, and looking at the backpack again I probably could have opted for the larger cocoon that may be a better choice and I, I if you're gonna do one of these things I would recommend measuring your backpacks internals because they do make much larger ones ones that are like 10 by 12 or something like that much larger this one I think was well it's smaller than an iPad so it's like 7 by 9 but now I do have a way to keep everything together and organized inside my backpack and still leave all of these pockets open for very quick easily reachable incidentals things like passport airplane tickets and whatever else I happen to be carrying on me that I need to get to at a moment's notice whereas the cables and batteries and chargers and whatnot I may not not necessarily need until I get to my destination. So that's gonna wrap this video up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this, whatever this happened to turn out to be. I like the fact that now when I'm going places, I don't necessarily have to dig deep into a pocket to find what I'm looking for. Just grab something out, unzip it, open it. Oh look, there's my USB cable. And when I'm done, when the weekend's over, I have one thing that I fill back up, stick it back inside of the case, and I'm good. So thank you as always for watching. If you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I put out new videos. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, hit thumbs down if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. I'll see you again next time.